Hello everyone and welcome to my beginner saltwater tank video from uh, you know this is Chris the pool man and uh, yes yeah, I'm not a professional at all I, actually I don't know anything this is my first time and basically I'm just recording it and uh, I'll go over my thought process and anyway, let's hop right in and the first thing will be uh, the rocks I chose I chose dry rocks over live rocks um, just because it was cheaper and it, it's a more readily accessible to get uh, a dry rock over a live rock. Live rock basically just means it's just pulled right out of a, an active fish tank and you know you're just gonna put it right in yours so it has the bacteria as well as any pests or anything that's in there. The dry rock basically it's, they, I guess they've been yeah, they've been dried out dehydrated however you want to do it. Sad you just leave them out and let them just dry dry and, and dry and just you know think about which one you'd prefer you would want to use. There's advantages and disadvantages. Next thing I'd like to talk about is uh, your substrate, the sand or you know the media that you're gonna have your on the bottom of your tank. Um, this is a saltwater tank. Um, freshwater I think has a lot more like you know river rocks and marbles and stuff like that you can use. Maybe you can use that with saltwater tanks but I really don't see it being used. Um, it's either like nothing at all or black sand. I've opted for one part uh, Fiji pink, very fine sand uh, for the very bottom. And then on the top, I use two bags of uh, special grade sand. Both of them are for um, Carib Sea, which has live bacteria in it, which is very important when you pour this stuff out into your tank. There's like water, there's a lot of moisture and stuff, and you need to make sure you get all that water out too get everything as much as you can out like you know but really the water the water holds the actual live bacteria that's you know still in that bag um also you can check the date make sure it's not um you know expired that would be horrible um but that was the sand that i opted to go for and i think a lot of saltwater enthusiasts are just using that maybe not from carib sea but live sand in general i think a lot of people are uh, just using it. it's just it's just so much easier um with that said the next little bit um it's going to be your aquascape basically you know the feng shui of your uh, tank <laughs> or the layout of it you can see right now i have one block place which is actually like a cave um, you know, you can, the fish or whatever can go inside of it and out the other side. There's like four little holes, different ways you get it. You can get through on that. Um, it's like a big dome. Um, and then I have the PVC pipe in the back and that's going to be for the mantis shrimp that I plan to get. And that's going to be like his cave and hopefully he'll take to that instead of trying to burrow into my tank. Now he's a clover, not a spear, so I don't really have to worry about him planning to go too deep in the tank, but there's still like, you know. You can't stop them from wanting to do what they're going to want to do. Um, so I only put the one bit of Fiji pink first, and I didn't put down um, that hard stuff yet because I wanted to lay the rocks to make sure that the rocks were actually touching the bottom of my tank so that it's stable. You don't want to put all your sand down and then put rocks because, God forbid, if you have any kind of fish that like to burrow or move rocks and sand around, if they start working around underneath that rock, you know, you can bring everything down and get them trapped or you know just something you don't want to have happen and you can see me right now I'm trying to design an archway as well as thinking for that PVC pipe the artificial cave for him how it's going to split up um, and you know you know this is just how I wanted to design it and it, I, it took me a bit um, I took a lot of photos and when I went to the store um, to actually buy the one set of rocks, the arch and the dome, I wanted to make sure they were right size and everything. So I had taken a photo of how I wanted to set up my tank initially and just like, all right, let's find the pieces that'll kind of fit the puzzle. Um, and then with that, you know, just make sure everything's pretty dang stable. Um, they also have uh, like reef putty and like like you know like a putty and an epoxy and there's also like a glue and everything you can use to glue these rocks that are fish safe and tank safe and you're gonna see i'm about to use some of that now just on the archway specifically to make sure that that 
does not fall over ever <laughs> like ever <laughs> so make sure you get some of that or at least it's really really sturdy um yeah so you know just make sure you're pretty liberal with it and don't 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 be afraid use it up that's what it's there for and you bought it uh what was the next thing yeah you could see i put in one bag of the crushed coral which is the special grade it's very thick it's not like sand it's like small rocks and shells and stuff like that um i put in the one there and i'm putting the other bag on the other side and i wanted to admit this part from the video but i felt like it was important to keep in it was actually i don't think it was a mistake i mean you can't really have it's better to have more than less sand um and that's eventually why I, you know what happened you can see i completely covered the one dome and <laughs> everything like that so uh yeah it was pretty quick to uh try and sort that out and get it fixed Here's where you can see it. I'm like, oh, it's, that's that's a bummer, Chris. That's definitely too much, too much. <laughs> and I'm actually debating what should I do. And I was just like, yeah, well, you know, what can you do but scoop it out? So, you know, ultimately that's what I decided to do is just take like a few hand, big, big, nice heaping handfuls out and then relayed some around just to make sure that, you know, they had access to everything I, I need or they needed and everything that I want, wanted them to have. Like, you know, it, <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a lot too much sand. So, you know, it, again, I, I should have slowed down, maybe spread it out first, whatever, but you know, you live and you learn. I uh, heater. So with the heat, I just went with uh, uh, what I saw everywhere, um, and that's the Aquion. I didn't need anything super expensive. I was looking for just uh, very reliable. It had, has great ratings. Um, it's just a hundred watt um, submerged, you know, heater um, enough to keep the salt water fishies happy. Um, I bought two of them in case this one goes dead. Um, I have a backup that I can immediately put in, especially with anything salt water. I mean, they're very susceptible to, you know, a degree change will wreck your reef if, or coral if you have any in there. And, you know, certain fish just, well, no, will not like it. So, you know, they're really cheap, especially these, like I said, the Aquions, like, I think that was like 20 bucks. So 40 bucks for two heaters and you're good to go. All right, filtration. Um, we can be a long time on this. I don't know much about this. I'm still learning, but I opted to go with a cartridge filter just because it fit my needs. I didn't need a sump, uh, not for a beginning and not for the small little tank that I'm having set up. It's not going to have substantial amount of reef in it or other fish, maybe a couple fish that can survive the mantis shrimp, but ultimately it's just the mantis shrimp. So I just went with a fluval. Um, and I'll discuss that later. Um, my media that I'll use in it and this and that. Um, and you can see the, the, how it's set up right here in the video. Um, but right now, I, I love it. It's been a couple of weeks now, and it's, it's an amazing little thing. Um, holy cow. Um, it's ripping. Pool's very, or the, sorry, the tank's very clear right now. Um, I think I'm going, still going through the, the nitrogen cycle, the ammonia cycle. At first it didn't, and I opted to just add a little bit more chemicals into the water. Um, and I'll get into exactly more about that in the next segment. All right, I went with, uh, what was that, Imaginarium? Yeah, Ocean Pacific Water. 
it's basically already how a salt in it the ph and everything that's needed for a salt water tank and i had no problem with it. everything tested fine now here's the thing it also has the yeah, i think the bacteria as well as the life sand i have has bacteria and everything so i didn't think i had to run through a legitimate uh nitrogen cycle but i've been adding a little bit of uh, ammonia and stuff just to give it a little bit more oomph because i was just a little bit worried and i wanted to make sure the cycle actually happened um, and I'll talk more about, I'll give a little bit of a rundown of the nitrogen cycle. But yeah, it's just little gallons, bags, five gallon bags like that. You just pour them in your tank and yeah. Man, light. That's another one. You can do so much with lights. Oh my God. There's so many. Um, I just went with an LED light strip kind of that goes over the top of my that fits the top of my tank like with them because i'm going lidless so uh yeah it just runs flush um I, there might be an image if not i'll eventually show an image of the light um and i i actually enjoy it works pretty good this is the tank now with water actually already filled up in it it's how cloudy it looked and everything um and the next not even the next day like six seven hours later it was clear that's the light right there that little flat bar on the top um and now let's talk about the nitrogen cycle nitrogen cycle is you know fish uh poop or their waste turns into ammonia and then the bacteria eat the ammonia turn into nitrites and then you know bacteria again eat the nitrites and then turn into nitrates and when there's zero ammonia and zero zero nitrites and maybe a little bit of nitrates, you know that you went through that cycle and it should be fine for the fish to go in. And this is what I'm trying to understand right now and I've been testing daily. But, you know, thanks for watching the video. I hope everybody liked that and found it very informational. Um, there will definitely be a lot more of this. Uh, this is, you know, my just the beginning, I guess, shall we say. Everybody be safe, stay beautiful, and uh yeah like comment subscribe